Who loves dick? Arlene and Betsy love dick. These two teenage girls are just normal American citizens who turn out to have a wild series of events associated with the White House. As American citizens, we should feel comfortable enough with our government to have a good sense of trust in it. However, the Nixon administration made that difficult for us. In the movie Dick, we get a comedic view of the Watergate scandal, but there are still key concepts present. First, there are examples of deliberative functions in this movie. Second, we get a glimpse of how the rise of television in the mid-20th century personalized politics. And lastly, Betsy and Arlene could be viewed as ordinary heroes in this film. The movie Dick displays deliberative function when Nixon is under fire for the Watergate scandal. According to Bonnie Dow, deliberative function can be described as using reliance on evidence that was directly relevant to the situation being discussed rather than the values underlying it, or emphasis on the rational character of the decision made. When Nixon's name started getting associated with the Watergate scandal, there was no turning back for the country. We wanted answers. As we can see in the movie, there was a lot of cover-up and lying involved in this scandal. We as a society used deliberative rhetoric because we did not look at the values or reasons behind the scandal, but rather the hard facts and evidence. Also, we looked at Nixon's character in regard to the decisions that were made. According to Young's model of deliberative democracy and digitizing deliberation by Nicole Rochelle, we find that a deliberative democracy is rooted in inclusion, political equality, reasonableness, and publicity. In the movie Dick, we can observe that Nixon did not display any of these qualities. There was no inclusion on the citizens' behalf. There was definitely not any political equality, as Nixon had knowledge of sneaking into the Democratic National Committee. And there was also a lack of reason, because clearly Nixon and his administration were not using their heads when they were making the decisions about Watergate. And lastly, there was a lack of publicity during the scandal, because Nixon and his administration were busy paying people off and covering up the scandal, keeping the information away from the public at all costs. Using deliberative rhetoric as a function in society is needed because it helps us weed out the corrupt individuals, as we can see in Nixon's case. The second key concept from the film Dick is that television has personalized politics. According to the article titled The Media and the Presidency, Ten Propositions by Dan Hahn, citizens often feel awed by political figures on television. Although the movie focuses more on newspaper media than televised media, there are still scenes in the movie that display this truth. Even though most people, including Betsy and Arlene, might feel in awe when meeting the American president, this is caused by television. Television has the capability of building up public icons and placing them on a pedestal of importance just because they are on television. The truth is, celebrities and politicians alike are just normal people. They eat, sleep, and breathe just like we do, but we view them in a different light because of how the media portrays them. The article, Interest in News and Politics or Situational Determinants, Why People Watch the News, by Wannenberger, Schoenbach, and Van Muir, to suggest that the media was, has a hold on society, saying they can do what they want with us. This is because we are sucked into television that does not necessarily run our lives, but it runs a much larger portion of our lives than should be allotted. The final key concept from the film Dick is that Betsy and Arlene could be considered ordinary heroes. Although the movie presents the girls in a ditzy sense, and they perhaps did not fully know what they were involved in, they still showed heroic attributes. During the first week of class, we found that the keys to American heroic citizenship are selfless acts of courage, rejecting the path of complaint, and individual efforts to solve community problems. In addition, we learned that heroic citizens seek small victories rather than trying to change the world. Many of these ideas are presented in the film. Betsy and Arlene show courage of, because they are not intimidated or scared of the president as they face him head on. Instead of taking the route of complaint, they reject it and decide that something should be done, so they go to the media. Even though their call to the Washington Post started out as a prank, it turned out to be a very serious situation. In conclusion, by looking at the Nixon administration's involvement with the Watergate scandal through a humor-filled context, we can easily see key concepts such as presidential rhetoric being deliberative, personalized politics due to television, and what it takes to be an ordinary American heroic citizen. The movie Dick has a lot of conceptual information in it, 
but these are the three main points that I found most interesting. We can learn a lesson from Dick. Always act with integrity and good character because you will get caught otherwise.